And good evening. I'm Stacy Scheibel. I'm Keith Kate. Thank you for joining us tonight. A real life Grinch busted. Tammy Strickland, a former Toys for Tots volunteer, is accused of scamming the charity out of thousands of dollars. In fact, she's accused of planning to keep all those toys that should have gone to more than 140 children. And there's reason to believe that she's done this sort of thing in the past. Melissa Marino joining us live from the Toys for Tots warehouse in Winter Haven. This woman apparently has a big elaborate scheme going, but she was caught. Good evening. That's right, Keith. She apparently, we're told, filled out 28 of these applications using fake children's names. But when she came here to pick up those toys, she was in for quite a surprise. You're a monster. Mr. Grinch, your heart's an empty hole. But Sheriff Grady Judd says Tammy Strickland is worse. This is really not the Grinch. This is the Grinch. She's accused of stealing hundreds of presents meant for children. After receiving a tip, detectives set up an undercover sting. Strickland thought she was going to pick up donations. Instead, she was handcuffed. <clears throat> Detectives discovered she filled out 28 bogus applications, making up social security numbers and fake names for more than 100 children. When they searched her house, they found toys still in packaging. Now investigators are trying to figure out why. Is she selling it? Is she giving it away? We're told Strickland owns a tax business and drives an Escalade, yet collects government assistance. We're paying her to steal from children. It's despicable. David Waller is a retired FDLE supervisor turned Toys for Tots volunteer. When he learned about the investigation, he jumped into action. I had to uh, do a recorded conversation with Miss uh, Strickland. Now, the Grinch who almost stole Christmas is behind bars. She may be the queen of Grinches. Well, detectives also believe that Strickland stole from the organization last year when she was a volunteer, so they are currently looking through her applications that she submitted last year. Keith? There's so many charges against her. I mean, could there be more based upon what you just said? Past? Absolutely. So she's currently facing over 160 felony charges, a number of misdemeanors, but as they look through this evidence, there could definitely be more charges coming. All right. Thank you, Melissa Marino, reporting live.